The art of deception is the hallmark of a great player. Sending an opponent the wrong way, even for a split second, can make all the difference. These movements are quick, subtle, and instinctive. And today, Tommy will analyze them in precise detail. That's virtual reality time. Sorry. Now it's time to test Tommy's ability to read deceptive movements. He will try and correctly read the movements of virtual opponents. The players he's up against are actually real French League players recorded and rendered as computer graphics. You're immersed in a virtual rugby pitch, well, yeah. so you're not going to see any of the surroundings in here, but don't worry because we're not going to let you run into the wall. But what you'll see is basically a virtual player coming towards yeah, you, and they're going to try and sometimes they'll be making deceptive movements, sometimes they won't. Your goal is to stop them, to defend them. Okay. Yeah, cool. And what we'll be doing is we'll be measuring how and when you move in response to that player. Okay? Okay. I can't see any other surroundings, so it's pretty much exactly like you see in a computer screen. So it's quite cool. Okay. Now I want you to move your head left and right. <laughs> Up and down. Right, heading into the change room here. <laughs> Just come back. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we'll keep you in the middle. Okay. Okay, ready? Tommy, let's go. Oh, he got me! Damn it! Ready? Let's go. Yeah, he half beat you there, I think. No chance. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, step left, step back. So what we do with the virtual reality is we present what we call an egocentric viewpoint, the viewpoint of the player. So what he's seeing is what he would see in the match. It was adjusted to his height. And that's what perception on the pitch is about. It's about what that player sees at that that's moment in time. Oh, yes. Rip the ball and we're gone! <laughs> what we would like to use this for is maybe players who are injured and you bring them in back in gradually so you can keep them sort of match sharp. So you can still work on your footwork, you can still work on that, your timing, but you don't have to run the risk of injury. That's you. That's it. Okay? Go. Oh, for God's sake. Right, we're done. <laughs> oh. Get that off. Oh. Hot work in there. It is hot. <sighs> so many stuff. 100% I reckon. <laughs> okay, Tommy. So we've got your results here. Right. So what we've been looking at is your response to what you were seeing inside the headset. Okay. So we were looking at the number of correct responses you made. What we've got here done. in the black line are your teammates. Right. Okay, so that's the average of your teammates. And then in the red line, we've got your scores here. Yeah. Results. <laughs> so overall, 89.37%, not bad. Not bad. Pretty good yeah, for a day's work. Yeah, yeah, so you're doing very well.